Hello and welcome to Songwriting for the Disabled or Unable uh, Riffs and Picking Patterns. Get them down your way. Now, this is important in one respect because if you want to be a songwriter or you want to come up with song ideas and eventually take them into a studio, you want to be able to pick patterns your own way. Sometimes that doesn't mean by using presets in band in a box or things that simply do it for you. So what I found was a harp app. In this instance and this is just to give a guitarist or some of that nature an idea of what you're about so you get the harp uh, picture here from this harp app you can, you can give any sounds you want from it right there that's pretty nice that bit at the end now what you want for an intro is something that is going to be is going to link circularly back into the chorus if you watch here Start on the red, go to the blue, go to the red, you know, and they keep it very simple as to why you can see all the taps on, and this is the verse. And yeah, and I'm always ending, if you notice, on both. I'm always ending on the first. The first um, note on the harp, the first red note, the, the biggest, you know, the note that's going to be nearest me if I was playing it. So, I've kind of kept it simple because I'm starting where I began. So, if you start where you begin, reverses and choruses, this is the chorus and end here. great but it gives you some idea of what I'm talking about and you end where you st so you end where you start always remember that um, the resolutions i.e. when I had the little notes in between feeding in between the the, the, rep the repetitive nature of the chorus um, I'd have a, a resolutionary note that's normally either like one or two notes down from where you, you normally are but it's what feels right to the ear for you this harp app is is very good it's, I mean, it's just an example of you can say to a guitarist, this is what I'm trying to aim for. And because you can pick individual strings on this, you can strum, it's quite good. I'm just repeating that again here. Probably will use that in a bit again. Um, yeah, so that's basically, you know, that could be a riff, that could be a picking pattern. Um, those earlier two things as intros in those courses. If you want to hear more of my music that has been sort of developed from a studio and further, go to the following addresses. Like me on Facebook, subscribe to whatever YouTube channel you may be watching at this point. Um, and hopefully I'll, uh, I'll be able to give you some more tips soon. So that was Riffs and Picking Patterns right there.